Oh, one of these things. All right. What? Ooh, no. Oh, okay. Okay. I see what you're saying here. What do you mean, no? I clicked them all. They're all clicked. I clicked every one of them. So not too long ago, somebody sent me a tweet and was like, you should make a fan out of a razor blade or out of razors. And I was like, that's a horrible idea. But then I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And I, I, I made this. I made this little fan here. Still have it. Still together. And upon releasing this video, you immediately let me know that those... Oh my god, that's hot dog. Anyway, those are not razors. Those are utility blades. And uh, on top of that, you've seen fans that are basically made for servers that are more dangerous than this thing. And I was like, okay, I, I, I get it. I thought these are razors. They're, they're definitely utility blades. I set out after that to try to redeem myself. I needed to make something that was... Uh, actually dangerous i guess you could say so i went online and kind of set out to create what i called the bad idea toolkit first thing i went and looked for were actual razors and upon googling what is the most well what is the sharpest razor you could buy this thing came up these are feather um double-sided blades and uh these are actually razor blades um i, I don't shave much I guess I shave my head, but I, I use, just, when I think razors, I think cartridge razors. Actually, since having these, I thought maybe I'm getting a safety razor, but it terrifies me. The thought of like basically scalping myself with it. So I, I haven't done that. If you use a safety razor, let me know if it's worth the time. But these are supposedly super sharp. Um, and then we need a new fan to put them on. The 2000 RPM Noctua wasn't going to cut it. So I went on Amazon and I found this thing. They said that this was a 120 millimeter PWM fan capable of 7,000 RPM. And I was like, geez, that's pretty fast. I will say though, after I got it, knowing that it said 7,000, I busted out the little RPM reader and uh, I only seen like 5,000-ish out of it. So we're already off to a good start. This was a false advertisement. I didn't get 7,000. I even hooked it up to like a standalone power supply and gave it the maximum required or rated voltage and amperage and it still no, didn't put out 7,000. So we're just gonna use it as is which will be like around 5,000, which is still more than the Noctua's 2,000, math. And we'll see if we can finally create something that will hopefully do what they, what many say can't be done. Appease the comment section. So step one is remove fan blades. We've been here before. So I'm gonna go down the kind of the same, the same route as last time. I have created this hub here that will fit over our newly created fanless or bladeless fan here. And rather than epoxying everything this time around, I'm gonna to try to use some screws. I really wanna keep these things in place. Uh, they're very, very thin. They're very, very sharp. If you've ever thrown a playing card, you know that something thin can fly pretty good through the air. And if it's this sharp, I don't wanna be hit by it. So we're gonna, I don't know, is it easier to put this on first and then attach it later? Probably not. Let's see if we can get the blades attached to this thing. Now you can probably see how this is gonna to go together. I'm going to try to support this blade on both the front and back because it's so thin. I don't want it to just bend immediately. So the blade's going to sit up here. And then I made a little cover. It's going to sit over the top of it with a screw down the middle. And that should leave us just a little bit of the blade poking out. Hopefully keep it stable. So the Danger Fan 2.0 is complete. Each one of the blades here, or each one of these little razors is held onto the blade with one M3 screw that goes through the, the bottom support blade and is uh, held in place with a nut. And then on top is just a plastic cap to hopefully give it a little bit of rigidity. So first thing we're gonna do though is get far away from it, plug it in and see if it holds together. If it does, we'll just go from there. I think you know what happens. Here we go. Pretty loud from across the room. I think one of the blades is touching something, but it looks like it's together. So we can see right there on the back, one of them was just barely touching. I found which one it was, loosened it up, and was able to move it just a little bit. So now we should be nice and clear. Yeah, no, no issues on that. Good news! It stayed together, which is, <laughs> which is uh, ideal for something like this. And um, after that, I did put it on the smoke machine setup, and it does function like a halfway decent fan. 
still probably something you shouldn't make because why, why, why would you? But now that it's more, probably more in line to what the original tweet intended when they said make a Razor fan, we're going to uh, once again test its danger level by uh, running a hot dog in it. I've dug out my patent pending hot dog thruster 9000 where we're going to convey this hot, well, hot dog down the track into the fan and see if it does less or more damage than last time and see kind of get try to get an idea what would happen if you were to put your finger in something like this which regardless is a bad idea so yeah let's uh let's do it Oh boy, it's, wow, it's, it's literally everywhere. It's on my chair, it's on the table, it's on the floor. Oh, it's on the ceiling. That's, that's going to be a bummer. A horrible tragedy has uh, befallen my basement here. It's going to take a minute to clean it up. But I think uh, what we learned, well, we didn't really learn much. We, we made, <laughs> we learned that Razor Fan 2.0 is better than Razor Fan uh, 1.0. The hot dog is very cleanly cut, which is, Nice, that was the end goal. The fan is actually in still one piece, so if there was something else you wanted to do with it, I guess we could, but I don't know. I don't know what else you would do with a fan like this. It, it does move air, it does act like a fan, but like what, why, why would you ever do this? But I hope this is more in line with what you had in mind when you sent me the tweet that said, you should make a Razor fan. Ah, Razor, fan. But it's definitely something you don't want to touch, especially if you're a hot dog. If you have any other horrible ideas, or maybe good ideas, like, we're always open to good ideas. Leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this situation. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.